Welcome back to our channel. We're Jack and Em, and on this episode, we start out at the Pentecost River where we're driving the old stock route between El Questro and Diggers Rest Stations called the Kurunji Track. We're camped out on the Pentecost River tonight, and it's it's the first time that we've actually camped out on the river. Normally we stay at El Questro because that's only just up the road. Um, but we're gonna free we're just free camping tonight along the river. Ready for an early start in the morning. Got my torch here because we just had a scrub ball walk right through camp and in the moment I thought I was recording but was not and so I missed it unfortunately. Jacko is just about to go for a fish. Fish are all back on the bite now that it's warming up a bit. I'm just laying in the swag. I've been reading a book. Jack's down at the river fishing. And it's a f I think it's a full moon tonight. It's, it's close to being a full moon at least. And there's been bulls, scrub bulls, all around the swag, like all around our camp bellowing. And just then, I think it must have been like dingoes or something. And they're just howling from all over. So that's what it's like camping out in the bush. Well, you reckon we'll start packing up camp or what? Yeah. Hit the road. That sounds good. My gay girl. We did the track in August, so right in the middle of dry season, and it was completely dry. Um, I think if you were doing it after wet season, it, it would probably stay wet for a while, especially across the salt flats, um, and I think you'd risk getting bogged and stuck pretty easily. We used HEMA maps on our phones, and it worked really well for us. There was a few times when the tracks went off in different directions, and they were pretty worn in each way so we weren't sure if it was going to be right but it was and it, it got us there in the end so I definitely recommend having a good map system.
Once we got past the salt flats and we're out on the diggers rest side, which is out on the Wyndham side, it, the landscape got much harsher and it was so much drier and I swear it felt about five degrees hotter. There were also a lot more gates on the diggers rest side, so having two people was handy because it would have taken forever if you're on your own. We've just finished the Crunchy track. I'm sitting here at camp. We're at Diggers Rest Station, just down on a at a bush campsite on the King River. And we started on the El Questro site, so we followed the Pentecost along on at, on El Questro, and then you cross through a boundary gate into Diggers Rest and that's where you finish up or you can go back the other way and do it vice versa. Um, we really enjoyed it. It was um, really really pretty pretty country and um, we spent most of the day out there. I think you could do it I don't know four or five hours but we spent most of the day out there just because we were stopping and filming and putting the drone up and Jack was fishing so took us a fair while but it's um it was really worth it it was pretty it wasn't too bad of a track actually we um I think it was more mostly high clearance that you needed because there was heaps of rocks and like a few gullies and things but the four-wheel drive part of it wasn't too bad it was more just the high clearance so it was good we liked it it was a lot of fun tired hot filthy got so much dust everywhere but apart from that, it was good. I told you there was heaps of ants. There's ants nest. Oh, it's on your foot. No. Oh, not funny. Don't. That was way better than I thought. So I was just here, sitting in the dark, waiting for my live bait to go off, eating some salami and having a beer. And this guy went and call, crawled straight up my leg. I didn't feel him till he was about to go in my shorts. And I haven't moved that quick in a long time. Good fun. And he is on the way to our camp. About to get a relocation. Aren't you, mate? Just had to get a hold of his tail. Got quite feisty. Removed him from the camp. Okay, what's going on now after the snake has just run up your leg? We're camped on the river, by the way. We're at the King River. And we're up kind of high on the bank. But Jack just said that there's a croc. Oh, it's always going to be a croc, but you know, he's just hanging around where I got all my rods and that set out, so we'll go and assess the situation. You can't tell him to bugger off, eh? See, last night we had bulls bellowing all night, we had one walk through our camp, we had dingoes howling all night on the river that we are at, we are at the Pentecost, and that was fine. I slept like a log. Emily is not comfortable with reptiles. Not an issue. But snakes and crocodiles, that's a whole different yarn. That freaks me out. That, that snake, eh? I, I, I heard the loudest commotion. I honestly thought like a bull or something must have rolled into camp and like hooked Jack <laughs> or something. I was, there was falling just... asleep in a camp chair in the dark. I just heard the biggest commotion. I was just, and I and then it just this. went... It Felt went this tap, tap on my leg and my knee about to where my shorts are. And all I have was my phone. I just turned my phone light. And it's just this snake head looking straight at me. <laughs> and I just about did a backflip out of that 
fold up chair, eh? Well, after all the commotion, I went silent and I was just like, well, He's dead. Jack's gone. You remember the way out of here, don't you? <laughs> Far out. Would not handle it like that. I would be checking for bite marks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Nah, should be right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Python, anyway. Oh, yeah. So that's where I was sitting last night when the snake went up my leg. And there his tracks coming down, down from the river there, straight up. Left Jack's left leg. <laughs> What do you reckon, Amy?